Hey guys, I'm playing Kerbal and I'm improving that pendulum of power design. First off, make that axle and uh, bearing work properly. Secondly, make sure it gets powered without glitching through the um, axle. Oh, so far so good. Uh, now for the real test. Coming out with a Kerbal. Uh, make sure all my staging's set up fine because I had so many difficulties with that. And we've got one, two, Three, I've perfected the pendulum. It literally, like, like what more do you want? Honestly. I'll tell you what more. We need more power, more thrust, more rockets. Maybe not that much. That might just be a tad over much. Um, that said, that was a pretty cool explosion. Shall we watch it again? I want to watch it again. You could tell I wanted to watch it again because I hit revert. I need a faster machine. Look at that loading screen. All right, cool. Ready? Are we ready for this? Three, two, release the clamps. Get ready for it. Go! <sighs> that was an amazing explosion. I love that. Uh, we got some bits going for a distance record. Um, something on order of kilometers by the end. By the time that one crashed, we got we had everything from like 750 to a kilometer. Uh, this one is trying like something like four times less power than what I just did. It is still double the power of the first one that I just proclaimed to be the perfect pendulum. Um, obviously that's still a bit too much. Maybe it needs a thicker axle, maybe just like a bigger bearing or something. So we uh, throttle it down and we, we, we stick a Kerbal on a further extreme. And, and then look at this. This beautiful long lob. And a little, little, little bell goes off in my head. I'm like, stuff the pendulum. I want to get medieval with this Kerbal. But first, get my distance, 287.8 meters. That's a relatively good throw. I got quite a low arc on it. Um, I, I think I could probably do a little bit better. So I endeavor to do so. Um, pull out the EVA and lower down. Th the whole time through this, I'm like, this is a good idea. But it could be more awesome. I, I'm, I'm having all this trouble with like too much power throwing me off the axle. If only there was a way to make it so that second or third spin just don't matter anymore. But first, let's see what's going to happen with this. Go! It's a good throw. I've got a bit of a tumble on the go. And I die. So I... I have no idea how to find out how far I flew. A little disheartening. Um, maybe I could fix that. So anyway, this is what I came up with to try and be just a little bit more awesome. Uh, you'll see that most of the major inspirations taken from uh, catapults and trebuchets. That, that beautiful arcing action there. The way it completely destroys itself when you use it. Um, so I, I set that up and stick it on the launch pad and then get this uh, ballistic projectile on the way. Um, this, this is quite a long drive actually. Uh, I, this, this is running at something like four times normal speed and it still took me minutes. Long enough for me to rant about these um, rover wheels. Like All I'm doing is pressing forwards here and every now and then my wheels just do that. Like, uh, I'll try and correct, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm trying to keep it on a straight line, but oh, it, 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 it was painful at times, it really was. So, here we go dropping down at a four times speed and approaching my launch pad. Now, it's almost as if it was made for the job. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem to have been thought about at all. So, maybe next time I'll be using the Mark 1 command pod, but for now, I'm just going to throw on some brakes stow away my solar panels and and hope that we can uh, get this moving vertically if not forwards so after a quick shimmy around trying to find the the right unit to control the trebuchet I'm gonna call it a trebuchet now it, it's so blatantly a trebuchet um, there we go I found the one with all the separatrons on it and I'm just like here it goes and all I do is manage to backflip it. Oh, I had such plans. I was going to get soaring views out of this nice cupola window as we were going to crash into the water. But no, alas. 
So I run my Kerbal in because I think, you know, if that if that went so badly wrong, why why not try something a bit lighter, a bit smaller? I can get this guy right on in there. So stand still, it's like, oh! <laughs> I then spent about five minutes laughing because that is just like the best thing I have ever seen ever. <laughs> and then spend the rest of the time trying to find my way through the debris pile that's on the end of my uh, my runway. Finally getting back into control. Standing myself ready. Setting up for... Go! 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 And that's quite high. And he's coming, zooming down. Lands on his feet and walks off like a boss. Because my Kerbals, they're made of sterner stuff. We take all the finest heroes, all the champions, grind them into a fine paste, add some green dye, mould them up to make these guys. Um, and here's one of the uh, poor unfortunates. His arc looks good. He, he looks very much like he could be saved. Right up until the point he lands on his helmet. Well, anyway guys, thank you very much for joining me for this latest experimentation and I hope you can join me again next time. Bye-bye!